Hello and welcome fellow bookworms and film fans. Welcome to this week's episode of The Contented Narrative. We will be looking at Dangerous Lady by Martina Cole. Now this was a book club book that was recommended by Marina. Um, and so I read this one for our January book club. And it was, I mean, it took me a while to get because I ordered it and then another book arrived by um, by uh, an author called Haig. Um, and then obviously it then, it, it then arrived, but it was posted to the wrong address and then it eventually got to me. Um, and it's an airport book is how I'm going to start off saying it. It's It's a holiday book. It's a kind of I'll read it by the pool or while I'm sunbathing kind of book. It's really annoying because it has the basis of a very good story. It does. But the way it goes is just, at times I feel like they're just getting to a good part and then they kind of go off to one side. Um, and I know I've discussed this before as well, but pre preempting in books really annoys me. I know Stephen King does it a lot with the like, okay, so, you know, but this will be the last time they're ever together as a family. And I'm like, come on, man. Like, I don't want that I want the book to progress as normal and they did a lot of that in the book um where they were like you know oh and uh she would then never see him again until however many years later and you're like oh for Christ's sake um do you know what I mean it's just kind of things like that and you're going right okay well this is gonna happen and I don't like that in books I never have um so basically there is a 17 year old woman called Maura uh, who is one of many, many children uh, of the Ryan family. Um, and her and her brother basically take over the West End. Now, well, they take over the West End, the East End, and, you know, everywhere else, and the docks and everything. Um, and I must admit, I did like reading this, um, because it's set sort of in the Depression, sort of like World War Two era, and as it progresses through, like, the the 80s and things like that. It, it, it was really interesting, and the time jumps were manageable as well. But it starts off, um, when, it, when you say a dangerous lady and you've got this really strong mum of like so many boys and then she has this little girl and you know obviously the little girl's going to be more Orion but I was kind of hoping the mum would step up a bit. The mum character in this kind of fell a bit flat. Like she, lo I, like honestly at one point she loves her boys but she hates her little girl, like she loved her little girl but now she hates her little girl and she would do anything to destroy her little girl but she wants to keep her boys safe and you're like... It's not how that works, love. Um, you gave birth to her. She's not a great mum at all. She's happy with receiving money um, and gifts and everything from her children, but she's not. She she doesn't acknowledge where that money comes from. She doesn't acknowledge that her her eldest child, her golden child, Michael, is a is a gangster, basically. Um, but I mean the. The characters were a little bit interesting, they were, and I did like the, you know, the family aspect of it and things like that, but I do feel like sometimes it just fell a little bit flat, which really annoyed me because, it, you know, there's certain, there's certain chapters when I was reading it and I was like, right, okay, this is interesting, this is interesting, and then you're like, oh, right, okay, let's just continue with the story, shall we? Um, and it's just... As I said, the mum, the mum character really, really, really annoyed me. I mean, she just, yeah, she just really, she, she felt like, I mean, she's probably a product of her time, but for me, every point that there was like a bit with the mum, I was like, seriously, I, I really wanted to slap her because sometimes, you know, you've got, you've got mums out there and you're like, they need shaking, they need waking up and going, look at what you are doing look at what this is setting for your children look at how you are representing yourself and it just annoyed me so much so much because I'm sat there going you could be so much better as a mum but you don't care you only care about certain aspects you don't care about it all um so there was there was that more Orion, the the main the main lass in it. She was doing really well, and I loved her character. And at first, she was falling in love with a copper, but then they find out she's Orion, and so the copper's been told basically your job or the girl. So he chooses the job. Uh, she chooses then to abort her child that she had found out she was pregnant with there, but because the mum again the mum the mum forces her to abort the child and takes her to a back end doctor, she loses the ability to ever have children. And apparently it's this 
that then turns her from a nice loving try like woman into the vicious i want to take over everything i'm going to run the business with michael all the west end and everything kind of woman now i love how she was very shrewd i love how she saw business deals before anybody else i loved how she was looking at the legitimate side as well like she was like right okay the docklands are going to be really big um which as we all know you know the docklands are really big um and uh, you know it, it costs loads for the property uh, you know um on the docks uh, you know on the edge of the river thames but it was just i don't know i just felt like they they did her dirty um but i did i liked i liked how it ends but it felt like a fairy tale ending in the respects of what had actually gone on in the book i felt like they were kind of rushing to tie it up and going right okay so they had a list of characters right right who are we going to kill off right okay let's kill off whoever i'm not going to tell you who dies i'm not going to tell you who lives i'm just going to say that ultimately i was like right okay okay so that's it that's done um i probably won't read this again i'll probably end up giving my copy to charity but it's it's a good book to read just sort of just to pass time just if you're going on holiday if you just got a spare couple of hours that you just want to read something that you're not too fussed about it's a good it's a good book for that but me personally it gets a three out of five it's not it's not one I would read again, um, but it, I mean, it's okay. Do you know what I mean? It's okay. But thank you so much for for, <laughs> for watching this episode again. Um, if you agree or disagree with anything I say, please do leave it below in the comments. If there's any books that you want to recommend to me, as I said, I am getting through them slowly but surely. Uh, again, leave them below in the comments. Uh, click subscribe to be alerted whenever a new video comes out. And thank you so much for your continued support. So remember to always Keep it contento.